My friend Tim Maurer is a financial planner, a college instructor, and the co-author of The Financial Crossroads. And he's also, well, how would you say this, a little verbose. So I challenged him to sum up a host of complex personal finance topics in 90 seconds or less. Let's see how he does. Before you hit the deer. You know, the whole point of these is to try and get some really valuable financial planning advice in under 90 seconds, and I normally, believe it or not, do attempt to do that. This one, I've got enough information that I fear it might be foolish to even attempt. But here we go nonetheless. Before you hit the deer, things you should know about your auto insurance. Because auto insurance has become a lot more about the price tag or the slogan or the mascot, we have over commoditized it. So we don't even know oftentimes what our coverage actually means, we just know what it costs. Let me explain to you the basic aspects of your policy. Bodily injury liability. Normally you're going to see a number something like this, 100-300. What the heck does that mean? 100-300. If you have a car accident, somebody gets hurt, they sue you and they win, this is the amount of coverage that's going to protect you. $100,000 per person up to a maximum of $300,000. One of the things you might be thinking right now is, well, Tim, people don't normally sue for $100,000 after an auto accident, and you're right. So I suggest you increase your coverage to $250,500 at a minimum. Property, that's what you hit and the protection that you have from that. Most of the time in this 100, 300, property would be around 50. I recommend that that go up to $100,000. So if you hit the Hummer and the light post and the post office, you've got a little bit to cover beyond the $50,000. Now, uninsured, underinsured. This pains many people to think that they actually have to pay a premium for coverage that someone else doesn't have. But before you think judgmentally, take a look at your limits because if you're down around 50, 100, you're probably one of the uninsured or underinsured in this case. And so I recommend that this also be 250, 500. And in order to make all of this liability expand, I do recommend that you consider getting an umbrella liability policy. You can purchase that in increments of a million. So get one million, two million dollar umbrella liability policy. It's relatively inexpensive to ensure that if you get that car accident where it's going to wipe you out financially because you're the one on the hook beyond the limits that you have some additional coverage. Now finally, the difference between collision and comprehensive coverage. If you've seen this on your policy, you might wonder what difference does it make? In which case does each one uh, have an impact? Collision, remember it this way, collision is to protect you when you have one. That is when you have a collision. So if you have a car accident, if you swerve off the road, hit a tree, that's a collision and collision is going to cover that. Comprehensive is for most of the other things. If a rock gets kicked up by the truck in front of you, hurts your windshield, hail comes down, beats your car up, that's going to be comprehensive. And think about it this way. If, by the way, this is a deer. If you are driving down the road and the deer jumps into your path, you don't swerve, you just ram into the thing and it destroys your vehicle, that would be comprehensive. Almost as though a tree fell over in the road, comprehensive would cover that particular instance if you stay in your lane. If instead you swerve to miss the deer, you hit a tree, that's going to be collision covering you. And now in the case of the beloved scene in the movie Tommy Boy, where they hit a deer, and then in order to do something with it, I can't remember what the point was, they put it in the back of the car, and then the deer comes back to life. I really don't know the damage that was done after the deer came back to life. What would cover that? So you'll have to ask your agent. <laughs> No way that just happened. My car is completely destroyed. I swear I've seen a lot of stuff in my life, but that was awesome. <laughs> but sorry about your car, man. <laughs>